What up, Club Stars? My name is Parallax Abstraction, and welcome back to Retro Flashback Plays Tron 2.0. So, we had a little bit of a pseudo boss encounter going on last time. We have to protect the code compiler while he, well, tries to compile the thing he ain't supposed to be compiling. It was a little interesting. Um, it was a little interesting to try to do because there was quite a number of enemies in a large number of places. So this might be uh, this might be a little interesting. Want to give a little bit of a shout out too? Um, it's it turns out one of the guys from the Living Dead system operators who actually created the mod I'm using uh, tripped over this humble little series and uh, left a couple of comments for me, which is awesome. Thanks for doing that, man. I'm really glad you guys are still making this. And if you can believe it. He did confirm that he is, in fact, still running servers, multiplayer servers for this game, and uh, he's actually working on a new version of the mod, because since GameSpy went away... Um, where did I end up down here, by the way? I was up there when I started this. Uh, yeah, as it turns out, when he started... Um, as it turns out, the uh, mod... Uh, when GameSpy went away... Jeez, I can't speak today. The... Um, uh, basically, the server browser for this game broke. Uh, and he's apparently working on a new version of his mod that is going to enable... Uh, die, you bugger. That is actually going to uh, re-enable matchmaking or uh, server browsing of some description in this game, which is friggin' awesome! So, way to go, man. I, I, uh, I think that's great, and I can't wait uh, to do that. I'm hoping maybe... I can try to arrange something with him and some some of the other people who are still playing this online to uh, do something uh, on a weekend with this. Maybe a little supplementary video once I'm done the the playing through the campaign of this. I think that would be really really cool because multiplayer was amazing in this. Crazy thing, uh, crazier thing is that he apparently actually remembers me from when I played multiplayer on the original retail copy. Uh, back in the day, which I was just like, what? But then again, one of the reasons I chose the name Parallax Abstraction is it is a name you are guaranteed to never see in use anywhere else ever. So, uh, and boy, ain't that the truth. So, I think it's really, really awesome that, uh, that we found that. I don't know if I'm going to get through this. I want to download this drunken whatever this is. Hang on, I'm going to quickly check that out. Ooh! That actually looks pretty swanky. Uh, assuming I can get through this. I seem to be doing a little better this time. Hanging out by the, uh, the compiler here is definitely the, uh, the smart thing to do. So yeah, it's been pretty, uh, it was pretty amazing to have him show up, given that this, uh, this series has had, uh, well, how shall I put it, niche appeal thus far. But uh, I'm really glad somebody's digging it. I think it's crap that I can't shoot these guys while they're spawning in. Am I going to do this the first time? That would sure be swell. I don't think I can do any damage to this guy, so it doesn't look like like he's shooting at the at the compiler, but it also doesn't look like he's hurting it, so. Looks like my goal is just to hold these guys off. So yeah, I am uh I'm hoping I can do something with the li Living Dead Sysops, because I tell you what, seeing a crew so dedicated to such an old game that was so niche is pretty darn amazing. Oh, we got it. Nice! Except we were not supposed to compile it, so let's see what the... Disco! Oh dear. Mithria! Uh-oh. I believe you said users? <laughs> you too are a user. Uh, Mithria, you, uh, you got mean, girl. Mithria, what happened to your shell? I'm mean free! Fight! No, 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 no. 
Oh my. Jet. One. The legacy code has changed me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my. Time to bail. I for forgot about this. There's an es right, there's an escape sequence that you have to use the bikes for. Oh. See, this is what I love about this game. Like this was traditionally in the films just a means of combat and and resolving disputes and the like. In this they were just like, "Nah, let's make it an actual sequence where you have to escape out of the city." using one of the light cycles, because that's just awesome. Like, I just love that stuff. Like, this this is what was great about this game, and with Monolith games in general. It's just... So unique, and I mean, yeah, I do have to attack people too, but you also just have to run out as well. And Okay, it looks like it's put me somewhere where I'm not going to have to do that, which is pretty cool. It's a bit of a tight environment, though, so forgive me, guys. There may be, uh... A not insignificant amount of retrying here. Or not. <laughs> now, I gotta figure out how I get out of here, because... Hi, Mithria. Mithria has become a mean girl. Whee! Okay, and now we're up here some more. So anyway, yeah, it's been an interesting couple of days. Because we, uh, uh, oh, that was wall reset? Or no, that's the thing I picked up, I guess. So that just pulls down everybody's walls. That's pretty amazing. That's a get-out-of-jail-free card is what that is. So. Yeah, it's been a pretty good couple of days. Had that little interaction from uh, the LDSO guy uh, on the series, which I love. That's the kind... See, this is what happens when I talk too much. I press the wrong button. But, uh, yeah, it was really cool to have that little interaction, and, uh, real life's going a little bit better lately now, too. It wasn't that great for a couple of weeks, but I had another job interview, uh, yesterday that actually went really well. Sadly, it's for a, uh... Shut up. Sadly, it was for a job that I was led to believe was a permanent full-time job, and it's actually just a one-year contract job that basically has no chance of becoming full-time. Uh, for a perfectly understandable reason, but yeah, it's a bit of a annoying bummer that they didn't mention that until I got into the interview, but uh, I'm waiting to hear from them and possibly one other place as well. Um, that's a job I would like less and would be a pretty terrible commute, but which would also be a um, a permanent job. So we will see what happens. Hopefully one of those things comes along. I've been unemployed long enough now that I still have enough I still have enough money to last a while, but I have now been unemployed long enough for the 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 the. the um, <laughs> oh wow, a Commodore reference. Yeah, that load star, this right here, that is a uh, total Commodore 64 shout out there. That is, I've never seen that before. That is retro classy monolith. But uh, yeah, I've now been unemployed long enough where the whole like, it feels like a vacation thing has worn off and is now getting replaced a little bit more with, man, I really need a job and I need one relatively soon because I have a house to pay for and such, so. Um, it should be, should be interesting. But, uh, I'm also hoping this weekend, uh, unrelated to that, to start digging into the new, uh, amazing tools that I have at my disposal now as part of my, this is really not going well, uh, that I now have at my disposal as part of my, um, new partnership with Creator X. I actually haven't had a chance to do that this week, and I'm hoping that by using that, maybe I'll get an opportunity to uh, both better promote my current stuff and maybe find some opportunities to do some uh, interesting stuff with other members of that community, which I think would be a lot of fun. So I'm digging that. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh my god. Okay. I'm going to stop narrating my life so much and uh, working away at this here because I was doing really well before and I kind of boned it up. Problem is I'm getting in people's faces too much. 
Good old shield break. That's my favorite. That's the real get out of jail free card. The wall reset's only good if you're not right up in somebody's grill. Wanted to give, uh, I know he doesn't watch this, but I wanted to give uh, another little shout out to Total Biscuit as well. You guys may have seen the video, little video I did recently, just wishing him well with his recent cancer diagnosis. Um, and uh, he posted something on Twitter this morning. Um, I guess he went for his uh, one of his rounds of treatments, and he has. Uh, I guess he's going to have to do now, it was originally looked like it was just pill-based chemotherapy he was going to have to do, but I guess it's uh, both pill and radiation. I guess it's a little worse than they thought, um, which is going to cause him some of the usual unfortunate side effects that chemo does with everybody, but uh, apparently his chances of recovery are extremely high, uh, or very good, I think was what they said, so just wanted to give another... Uh, just wanted to give another shout out to him. I'm glad to hear he's doing well. And uh, he's a big part of the reason I do this. Like, he's he's what inspired me to get into this stuff. So uh, I owe a lot to him. Love him or hate him. I know a lot of people hate him. But uh, I'm, uh, I'm glad to hear he's probably going to beat that sucker. So good on him. Ah, <laughs> oh, camera. So as you can see here, these light cycle things, some of this is just because I, I'm talking too much and not giving it my full attention, but yeah. The light cycle stuff, particularly in these bigger, or the bigger, these more constrained arenas can actually get really tough. Uh, the light cycle racing in this game as a whole is actually not easy. Um... Some of this story-based stuff will uh, will screw with you pretty good. It, it will definitely test your uh, reflex skill. I suppose I could try this in uh, with a different camera as well, just to, or with the like follow cam instead of the free camera. I do wonder if maybe trying to control the camera as well is part of my problem. But I remembered when I played this back in the day finding the uh, camera to be really disorienting, or jarring, really, uh, the follow camera, so I don't know, I don't necessarily think I'm going to do much better with it. So I already have a shield up, I don't think this power-up stacks, so, oh, there we go, I think we got him. Yep, we got them both, alright, out we go. Let's get out of here before it's too late. Going somewhere. I'm not falling for that ultra user. Okay. No, I'm not Rather funny that apparently she can take about a fraction of the hits that I can. <laughs> Ugh. Is that is just a real looking camera. Disc now. Whoa, are those Sir, silicon graphics Fort stations? Revealed the location of the correction algorithms. It was only a matter of time before I I think those were the only things that were purple. Good work, Mr. Crom. Now we can correct the digital. Custom painting all that hardware must cost a fortune. Like Go to phase two. God. Tube monitors, am I right? There's a day I don't miss. Especially when I used to work receiving in a computer store and I had to haul 50 of those suckers around every day. 30 pounds a pop. User accessing IO grid. Please stand by. Dad? Is it you? Oh. You look remarkably, uh... What's wrong with your connection? Lock me in a storage room. I'm accessing... Jet's dad doesn't strike me as the type of person who would have a... Dancing stickman avatar. Hi. Do you not recognize me at all? Do you understand these instructions? Yes, but... Node deactivated. 
Damn. That's cold, lady. Alright, well, let's juice up. So we gotta get over there, clearly. Huh. So we have to find the bits of those things. Oh, it's another, uh, resource hog. We're not- are we still in the ser that old server? I thought we were, we'd gone somewhere else. Again, another new, you know, differently colored environment that looks really cool. Like, that's what I, you know, we, we talk a lot about the environments in these games, but I think it's one of its real strong suits, and one of the things I really love about this is because it is the Tron universe, they have the freedom to do stuff. Like, this is a game that makes amazing use of color, you know, it's not, this isn't your friggin' gray-brown shooter. This is a... Ooh. Hi. Dick. Um, you know, this isn't your standard gray-brown shooter. It's really, really colorful, and it look it, it just... It, every, you know, every section of the game looks different. Everything is colorized in a different way. Like, it's just a gorgeous game in so many respects, and... That was one of the nice things that the, having the Tron license permitted them to do, is they were allowed to do this kind of thing with it, which I, I think is just great. It's just a, a gorgeous title. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say, I was leading into another point with that, and now I forgot. Dang it. I believe it was one of the things one of the LDSO guys told me. Oh, yes! That's right. Uh, one of the things I'm going to start trying to do here, actually, that I, I should do if I can find the if I can find the memory space for it, is the LDSO guy. Um, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on your YouTube name right now, sir, but uh, I'm bad with names that way. Uh, what he suggested actually was that I employ um, the uh, what do they call it? The uh, Not the Drunken Dims. Not the Drunken Dims, not the Primitive Charge. Triangulate. He actually recommended that I start employing that more often, um, because Triangulate basically allows you to zoom uh, with anything. And he said, you really should do that more often, because that's... Uh... There we go. He said I really should do that more often. He said he said that the cluster, which is what I'm using here, is arguably the best weapon in the game. Um, he said the suffu suffusion, which is the sort of shotgun-like thing I was trying to use, is actually pretty terrible. Uh, which I would tend to agree. It's... I don't know. Feels like it should be good, but it's not really. Um, there's a lot of stuff up there. And he suggested uh, that I employ... Um, that I employ triangulate at all times because it gives me a, a means to uh, zoom in even with this weapon, which he's not wrong. That's probably a good idea because my biggest problem with this has been hitting people at a distance. So I think I may try that. The only problem, of course, being that uh, I don't really want to take out... Oh, wait, I have suffusion in here. So actually, yeah, we have the space to do it. So let's go... I don't want to take out any of the armor stuff because the armor is really making this game less punishing, which is what I really need because this game actually is pretty pretty mean when you uh, don't have a decent amount of armor on. So if I could get that thing upgraded to gold uh, and lower the amount of space it requires, that would be super nice. But we will uh, we will see about that. Oh yeah, check that out. Double zoom make sure I stop missing these distance shots. For example, let's try that. Oh, look at how much easier that is. And it also prevents me from getting my disc lost in limbo, which has been a problem frequently in this game. Uh, where I throw the disc, miss a guy, and because it's bouncing around all over the place, it takes forever and a day to get back to me. Uh, that has very much not been the case here either, which is excellent. I want to do this because I bet there... Oh. I had assumed maybe because it looked like it was encouraging me to jump up there. I had kind of assumed that there was uh, build points or something there. No, there's build points right over there. 
Another interesting little factoid that he told me as well, which blows my mind, is you've seen me in other episodes complain a couple of times about the fall damage in this game and how I'm like, man, that's punishing. I guess I must have blocked this out of my memory from when I played this originally, but if you can believe it, um, oh, that's just a prop, I guess. That's the exit port. Uh, if you can believe it, the he is actually, with that mod, um, reduced the fall damage in the game by about half. So the fall damage, which is already bloody punishing, uh, was actually a about twice as bad as that in the shipping version. That just, oh my god, Monolith, what were you guys thinking? Like, you are... Uh, like, you guys, I'm sorry, are out of your bloody minds with that. Is there another guy? Yep, there is. But guess what? I am still gonna miss. Not that time. You're not getting my resources. Oh yeah, I am. What the hell? Did that actually go through him on the way back? It's amazing. I wouldn't stand there. No. Well, I am less sucky with the disc weapons when uh, I have the zoom, but definitely not perfect. So yeah, the fall damage is actually about half as bad with this mod as it could be. That is, my god, Monolith, you guys are out of your fracking minds with that. That's just horrible. Oh my god, so many bins. Uh, another permission? Yes, please. Dick. I'm a thief, but I'm still gonna criticize your code, yeah. Sounds like a commenter on Pirate Bay. Okay. Many emails. Okay. Hmm. So I got... Two bins in here that I cannot presently open. Hmm. NG. Your energy! Now, I'm just going to look around here a little bit. Oh, wait, I've been over here. Oh, I didn't have to loop all the way back around before? <laughs> okay, it's missing bit. Yeah, I know about... This. So there's a missing bit, but... Am I the only one who hasn't seen any bits yet? You know what? I think I'm just going to take the, the profiler out for now and leave the Y amp installed, because the profiler really, against these resource hogs, I'm not really looking at what it's doing or showing me very very much, so... I don't think it's all that useful, and being able to jump higher will hopefully make it easier to find both the objective and maybe some upgrade bits as well, because there's three more along here. I want all the bits! I must have the bits. Glorious, delicious bits. Hmm. Well, we've been up here. Oh. Did somebody else spawn in? There was definitely no enemies over there last time I was about. Are these guys just kind of popping in around here? Because I've, I've, I've kind of toured the area and I haven't seen any missing bits or anything, so I'm wondering if maybe I have to... I'm wondering if it's either in one of those boxes or... It, oh, or is that him? Yeah, there he is. I was going to say, I'm wondering if he's in one of the boxes or if I have to clear out all the enemies first to find him. There you are, little buddy. Go to your house. Go to your house. Go to your house, little buddy. Go to your house, little bit. Uh, feels like I'm talking to my dog when he was a puppy. Not that he ever did that, but... Okay, there was an enemy over here. I was not... I, w I am not crazy. There was an enemy over here. Unless he just has a really circuitous, circuitous patrol route? 
question mark? Yeah, he does. Or rather, they do. Don't run. Oh, God. Jeez. Shoot much? That's me talking to myself. Because clearly I don't. Yoink. No, you dead. Ow. Ow. What the? That did not go where I aimed it. Oh, you dick. Okay, fine. You want to run towards me and get shot in the face? Who am I to friggin' say no? Ah, uh, the beats! Mm-mm. Delicious. Num, uh, oh. Lacking permissions. Fah. <gasps> the beats! And the other bit. Wake up, little buddy. I'm not actually sure what. Ah! Not actually sure where he needs to go, but. Oh, he's just going over to that doorway. Okay. So now I have three. Three? Yeah, three boxes I need to get into. Oh, I guess that's why he's got the uh, the weird uh, the weird avatar. Sorry if you just heard my email notify go off there, guys. I try to be more professional than that, but for whatever reason, it uh, I actually turned that notify off before I record started, but it didn't stick, I guess. Though so strangely, my phone didn't ding, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, wait, so this bit is already there. <gasps> There's the last bit, upgrade bit. I, it's it's funny that in these later levels, I seem to be having an easier time finding the upgrade bits than I, I used to. I don't know why that is. I find that very odd. Whoa! Oh, bollocks. Huh, <laughs> where'd he go? I was hoping I didn't lose all the core dumps. That would have been a real bummer. I'm about to anyway. Haha. <laughs> okay, so let's get the last upgrade bit here. Huh, weird. The old iPod Touch I'm not using anymore now that I finally got myself a new smartphone went off to tell me about that email, but my phone still hasn't. That's odd. I joined the Android... Oh, there's permissions. Lots of permissions. I joined the Android world recently. Uh, finally, I managed to sublet somebody's really kick-ass uh, rate plan. And I got myself a Nexus 5, and I'm, uh, I'm still... Because my old work paid for my phone, I was a BlackBerry 7 user for many, many years. I know, pity me. And uh, I was a BlackBerry 7... <gasps> An optimizer! Oh, yes. Um, yeah, I was a BlackBerry 7 user for many years, and um, uh, now I'm... Uh, and then I was a Windows Phone user, which I actually liked quite a bit, but uh, I decided I wanted the flexibility that Android brought, and uh, it is flexible, man. I am kind of blown away by that system, but at the same time, it's also really... Uh, <laughs> it's a little... Uh, it's a little daunting, I have to say, in some ways. See, this sucks. I really want to upgrade this. Oh, but it bumps my energy usage. But I really haven't been that bad in terms of running out of energy, have I? Yeah, screw it. All right. And you know what? Now let's put the profiler back in place as well, because why not? That was worth it. 
But yeah, I'm liking Android a lot. Like, oh, I can't believe... Like, the one thing I really, really missed about my old BlackBerry... Like, I was a BlackBerry user for almost 10 years, and one of the things I really, really missed about my old BlackBerry was the ability to... Um, how do you get up there? Was the ability to uh, have the light blink... Uh, when emails came in and have it like blink different, I could set it to blink different colors for different email accounts because I have more than one, uh, which was really, really cool. And um, it turns out, oh, really? Ooh, hiss. Uh, and it turns out I can actually do that with uh, with this particular phone. Not all Android phones have lights, I guess, but this one does. And uh, there is an app for it that allows me to configure that, which has just been... Uh, you know, when you're a super... Oh, crap. I actually can't even activate this. Yeah, when you're a super t super nerdball like me, it's funny the little things that get you giddy. And that is uh, that is one of them. I, uh, I was really, really happy to see that I can... Uh, have the blinking light again so that I can just look down at my... I don't have to have annoying uh, ringtones go off for every email address and whatnot, but I, I can just look down at my phone and see what's waiting for me and if it's important or not, which I, I think is really cool. Crap. Where's that missing permission, then? That's a real bummer, unless it's back in one of the other uh, crates back in this first area that I missed. Oh, man. This does hardcore damage now. May have an increased cost of usage, but man, this thing will end a fool. Whoo! All right. All right. I can dig it. So there's, yeah, there's the, um... There's the boxes, um out here that I couldn't get into before, so maybe one of these has the permission I require to uh, trip the thing. Well, let's go see. Uh, we don't need cluster, we don't need sequencer. That's an unknown, so we might as well. I'm guessing I probably have just about everything, but there's free energy over on the other side, so why not, right? Uh, let's drop it in... Yeah, it's a utility one. I'm quite certain I have it already, but... Let's, uh, let's drop it in and see what we get. Ooh, triangulate gold and profiler gold. So triangulate... Having triangulate gold will be really sweet. That'll free up more space, but at the same time, that does not have the permission I require. So... What? Because I got the bits that allowed me to progress the area. Ooh, power block? Maybe it's not something I had. Oh. Oh, it's an upgrade. Sweet. I'm getting upgrades handed to me for free here. This is wonderful. Because a lot of these pickups and such are actually uh, randomized. Um, so, I don't know if you would necessarily get the same stuff on a subsequent playthrough. But, uh, yeah, I will take that golden triangulate, seeing as how I'm using it and all. Really liking the ambient music in this area, too. So let's go... Oh, look at that. Look at that zoom! Oh, mother. Okay, and we've got another free spot, so let's just drop in virus scan, because why not? So yeah, this is a bit of a problem. I'm missing a permission, and I've been progressing the right way simply because... Well, it's obvious, because... The bits I've been unlocking have been allowing me to move further in, so I'm kind of... unsure what I'm missing here. Unless it's uh, permission that one of the enemies drops. Which is possible, I suppose. See, it's that one. If I had that permission, I could get into that archive bin to, to boot, but... Ooh. 
This is back. Wait, this is back in the original area, isn't it? Yeah, I went the wrong way. Oop. That's the exit port. Way over, way over yonder there is the exit port. That's where I need to go to get out of here. But yeah, this is the this is the security clamp room. Which yeah, I'm lacking the permission. And there's nowhere else to go in here. Unless it wants me to climb this uh this crazy uh blockchain here. Maybe there's something beyond the optimizer I picked up to get to? I don't think so. I don't think there's a way up there. No. That could be where I need to go, but how in the Sam Hill does one get up there? So, wait a minute, though. So, this is that thing. This is the, um... That's the bottom of that, I believe, right? Yes, it is. So there was a box it showed, and I believe it showed said box to be, yes, down here. Could this be it? Because it was pointing it out in the environment, could this be the, like, hey, maybe the thing you want is in here? <laughs> Am I good at the Vigi games or what, y'all? I suspect for the last 10 minutes or so, anybody watching this has been going, It's right there! What the hell is the matter with you? I'm good at the games. I didn't say I was fast. I just said I was good. There's most certainly a difference. Uh... Oh, you see? Now that's just dickish. I got the one permission necessary to open this bin, and within it are two other permissions that I already have. Though I suspect, um, I think I got those other two permissions from killing enemies, so they're probably randomly dropped, so that's where it's like, hey, if the you didn't get these from enemies, you can get them from, or you ran away from all the enemies, you can get them in here. Now, I suspect I'm going to have to fight my way over to the... Yeah, I'm going to have to probably fight my way, yep, there's the dudes. I'm gonna have to fight my way over to the, uh... Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fight my way over there. Alright. That's fine. I've got all of the explosions at my disposal now. So you know what? Screw you guys. I can own all, y'all. Except these guys seem to be much better at blocking my shots if I don't get right up in their grill. Well, between my armor and my newfound ability to shoot better, I am definitely not taking the uh, damage in these multiple encounter fights that I used to, that's for sure. And the little bit I'm managing to salvage from corpses is pretty much enough to keep me alive. So... Or rather, keep me alive, keep me full. Which, uh, is great. Hey, Mercury, how's it going? Prepare for exit port activation. Okay. Man, I liked you so much more when you had a personality. Where am I going? And what about you, Mercury? I'm not instructed to follow. My command buffer is empty. I don't understand how this is going to help. Can I not my add dad. a command? Unable to process your query. All right, off we go. I'm making pretty good progress this time, eh? Whoa. Again, like, completely new environment. Like, look at this. 
This is so cool. This is what's awesome about this game. It, like the the freedom they had to just do crazy Hi there. stuff. My name's Ted. What's yours? It's great. So you work for Fcon. Well, I guess we all like some do kind now. Of warlock. <laughs> I'm curious, oh, and do tell me if I'm being bothersome, but as I understand it, FCON deals mostly in information retrieval and storage. Why the interest in our humble company? Surely it's not because of our gaming department. Oh, he's gonna come right across the table and friggin' Same. BATH! Some of our top people are missing. Yep, Mr. Bradley just up and disappeared. Strange thing, his son is also missing. Oh god, Even dude, shut up. Security, Mr. Thorne has managed to vanish into thin air. Truthfully, I just want to know if I should be panicking or not. Maybe you should just go home and not come well, back. It was nice talking to you. Ah, I forgot about that. So those are actual people. I hope this works. I didn't even download any permission, but somehow I have access to get in here. That's right, I think you just have to, yeah, you have to guide like this, yeah, this weird version of your dad out of here or something. I don't know if, am I going to actually play in this environment? Probably. Yeah, the I, yeah, I hope so. What are you doing? That's not the exit. Mm-mm. You people. Before we digitize any data rates, I want to make sure the correction algorithms fix the problem. Will do. Son of a bitch. And now you're going to get caught again, ain't you? <laughs> God damn it, Bradley. You had one job. Solved a small problem for us. Escape. That's all he our data rates can bloody had to do. This Christ. Will never work. Mr. Baza, please lead our distinguished guest to the digitizing pad. Oh, looks like he's coming in. I I'm amazed how much of this story this I completely forgot. Bradley. You're about to taste the fruit of all your hard work. Savor it while you can. I forgot so much of this. A lot of this is better written than the friggin' Tron movie was. There have been reports of an uncorrupted program still running in the internal partition. We gotta get that script out of there! We can't do that. Access to the internal partition is protected by the remaining controller tower. A few blasts near the base of the tower should bring it down. None of us have that kind of armament. And to make matters worse, the controller is heavily guarded by Rector scripts. Rectum scripts? Rector scripts. What is this place? <laughs> Shooting some stuff at the base of the tower should bring it down. There you are. We're not going to tell run. you about that, I'm, though. I'm okay. Where are you? What did they do to you? I'm here. I'm actually in the computer. Jed, this place is infested with horribly disfigured programs. I'd better hide. Node deactivated. Okay. Nice to see you too, Pops. Oh, wow, new memory. Okay. Well, let's golden this shiz up, shall we? Uh, cluster. Uh, cluster profiler. Uh, menus, fighting with menus. Cluster profiler, triangulate. Uh, where's all my armor? Armor, 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 armor. Actually, with all the corrupted programs, Viral Shield is probably not a bad idea. Um, power Block actually might not be a bad idea, and yeah, and Primitive Charge. I think that's actually probably a pretty good lineup here. I'm pretty much fine with uh, you just using this weapon in perpetuity if I have to. Hmm. Multiple blasts from 
killing those scripts near the tower. Or am I going to have to lure some guys in, I guess, probably? Wait, they're not recognizing me as a threat now? That's a good thing. Are they going to leave me be? That would be... Whoa. So, how do I get down from here? There's an upgrade script about... Oops! Nope! <laughs> Guess jump over. So yeah, I hope like the rector scripts. Obviously, I have nope. The rector scripts I obviously have to destroy. But hopefully the uh, the guys, the security guys, based on what it said there, if the security guys are now up for leaving me be, that would be really excellent. Okay, for real, how do I get down? Over here, I guess maybe. Looks like it. Okay. So let's see. Oh no, I'm just... Your courage is admirable script, but you shouldn't be the corruptions the professionals. Uh-huh. Because you've been doing so well with it. I mean, you know, just look at this. Look at this. Like, all you got to do is sweep up a little bit and this place will be good as new, right? Dicks. But at least they're not a threat now. So, I'll take that. Share this message with the Colonel. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Colonel, we are currently holding position near the perimeter of the server's internal partition. Rector scripts heavily populated the approach, and we lost numerous command posts. Next line. The server appears to have a set of control... We're basically on the front lines here. ...the virus from completely destroying all operating systems. Quite ingenious, actually. Next line. The controller programs protect the system memory, making it impenetrable. Next line. Awaiting your instructions. End of line. I'll make sure the colonel receives this right away, sir. So, yeah. We're basically on the front lines of this war, I guess. Get out of my way. There's another upgrade bit over there. At least those are clearly marked. Uh, permission and an email. So yeah, another big thing this week, I guess, well, has been E3 so far, and, uh, well, I... <sighs> Try that again. Another big thing this week has been, uh, so far, has been E3, and, uh, well, I, I don't know about you guys, but, uh, I have seen some friggin' amazing stuff this week. One of the nice things about being unemployed is that I've been able to keep myself glued to Giant Bomb most of the time, and I... I watched them talk over all the press conferences. I've watched all their live shows. I've watched all, basically everything they've put up. It's murdering my bandwidth this month, I'll tell you. There's a large cluster of zealots up ahead. Those creeps make my skin crawl. Agreed. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, I hope I get employed again soon so that I can afford all the games I want to buy, man, because I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what. Ooh, you guys are fighting with me. Sweet! AIs are fighting with me? That's badass. But yeah, I am uh, I am really excited. There has been, you know, I it seems to be hip and trendy to be down on, on AAA games and the console business and everything else lately, but I'm telling you what, I saw a ton of great stuff, both indie and not, to be super excited about. Oh, shoot. I also noticed Cluster's infected. Of course it has to be Cluster that's bloody infected. But, uh, yeah, I, I saw so much to be excited about. I, like, the, the, this next year for gaming is going to be friggin' unreal. Uh, I have a Wii U, which I got for Christmas the year it came out. And, um, and uh, I have a, a PS4 that I bought just before I lost my job. And uh, I haven't bought an Xbox One yet, but Microsoft, basically with their games, the, what, with the games that they showed, they basically sold me one. Uh, at this point, I really gotta get cleaning stuff up here. 
Um, yeah, Microsoft is basically, like, not yet, but when some of the stuff they talked about comes out, they have basically sold me an Xbox One. Um, there is some great stuff coming uh, that I, frankly, can't wait for. This is a bit of an issue here. Okay, I don't need energy. I need... Uh, I've got to start cleaning stuff up here, but yeah, I am. Uh, I am actually. Uh, Microsoft basically sold me an Xbox One, and Nintendo and Sony both made me very glad that I own their respective systems because there is some amazing stuff coming. And I mean, well, frankly, if you're someone who looks at E3 this year and just goes, "Oh, it's all the same crap," and there's nothing to be excited about, I don't know. You ask me, you should find another friggin' hobby because uh, I think you're just not into video games anymore. Because there is there is some cri yeah, there's some similar stuff coming. Yeah, there's Call of Duty. Yeah, there's another derivative Battlefield game coming. Blah blah blah. There's always that stuff, but it do you don't have to look very far to see how much other great stuff is is coming. If you look, you know, if you look more than if you're not determined to. Whoops. If you're not determined to see everything as bad, then, uh, yeah, there's a lot of great stuff to see and be excited about, if you ask me. Okay. The endless barrage here is a little ridiculous. Clearly, the game expects me to just run through all that, but... Just got too much stuff I have to fix. Unfortunately, this is where having a this is where having some better processing power would definitely come in handy. Yeah, that's lame. Spreading stuff between subroutines instantaneously like that is pretty lame. It's also saying, oh, that's what it's saying. I have. Sorry guys, I know this is kind of boring, but I have to wait for this stuff to fix itself, otherwise I'm just going to get screwed again as soon as I walk back in, so... Fortunately, I didn't dump much money into processing power, because most of the time you don't really have to, but... In this circumstance, it's definitely needed. If I fix that bad block, what was in said bad block? Hmm. I actually don't remember. Probably virus scan, I'm guessing? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think Power Block was also the thing that ensured I didn't get stuff corrupted either, wasn't it? So... Alright. Uh, oh no, that's just the blocking thing. Alright. We'll just get these two things cleaned up and then I'll rush back in here and... Uh, it might be a little tricky because I only have 20% health, but I need to pick up that... Uh, I need to hit that health orb, but I know there's an enemy guarding it, so... This might make stuff a little interesting, but we'll, we'll see what we've got here. Just let this thing get fixed up, and then we'll, uh, we'll get moving. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. E3 this year has seemed really, really cool, and it seems like a, a, an industry that was kind of down in the dumps, and, you know, in no small part, thanks to the help of the quote-unquote enthusiast press, uh, really seems to have found its stride again, and it's kind of like, yeah, you know what? Video games are cool, and friggin' big video games are cool, and as someone who likes big video games, that makes me extraordinarily happy. 
I mean, you know, there's the usual bit of controversies in that because I don't know. Everybody seems to need to be offended about something these days, but, uh... Alright, we're in a better spot now. But, um... Uh, yeah, it's there's been a little bit of that, but uh, for me it hasn't it hasn't detracted from anything. I'm still, uh, whoops, I'm glad I saved. I'm still really happy with what I saw, and the one the game that has the the biggest controversy around it, I kind of actually understand it sort of a little bit, but uh, I'm still very very excited to play that game, and uh, anyone who doesn't like what's being done with it should definitely not play it but I have a feeling it's still going to do pretty well and it's also you know it's well it's also World Cup week but I don't give a I, I don't really care about sports and in particular the mafia that is the World Cup so Oh, I was like, what is that? But that's my thing. Ooh. You guys aren't doing so hot, are you? Uh, I don't need that truncate plate. Yeah, FCON is most certainly not a nice... Not a nice place. Alright, well, let's go get our... Uh, Let's go get our stuff here. Uh, I get the feeling I'm going to need my... No, maybe not. I was going to say I'm going to need my Y amp, but it doesn't look like I will. Uh, I don't need that. If I'm going to make it over there. Ooh, I am. Nice. I will take that health. Wait, how did... I was going to say, how did I end up on the other side of it? But, okay. There we go. Alright. I'm just going to quick save again because I don't want to risk screwing up a jumping puzzle. Hey, look at that. I almost think I was getting used to this game and the way it wants you to do things. So, I'm supposed to access an I.O. node. I think that's probably where I'm going to call it for today. But uh, despite getting a little bit caught on some of those, uh, on that light cycle escape bit at the beginning, things are actually, I made a pretty decent chunk of progress today, which I'm happy about. Uh-huh. Yeah, because, you know, you guys have been just, just hot burning this stuff. Are you safe? Out of here. I think I'm on the same server. Yes, of course. I had Mercury configure your routing instructions to find more information on Thorn. That must have led you here. Why? We need Mothria and the correction algorithms to return home. I'm betting Thorn knows where she is. Mothria's insane. She tried to destroy me after compiling with the legacy code. That is a problem. But we need. I spotted another one. They found me. Hang on, Pop. I'm coming to help you. Node deactivated. It is a bit of a bummer that Bruce Boxleitner didn't put a little bit more effort into his uh, into his voice acting here, but I, I guess he just wasn't familiar with game acting either, so you can't really blame him. All right, well, on oops, <laughs> guy's bit fell through the thing. Well, uh, guys, on that note, I think I'm going to call this episode because it's been about le it's been about that long. Oh, geez, hi. So uh, I think we're going to call it here for now. But thank you all for watching. Uh, as usual, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. That helps the channel out a great deal. And I'm hoping hoping you guys are enjoying this. Uh, well, like I said, thanks to the the Living Dead Sysops, maybe we will uh, maybe we'll be able to get some multiplayer uh, coverage into at some point. But we'll we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, we're digging into this. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. And well, we will we will detonate ourselves a server. Take care, everybody.